This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at my new bottle of Colorverse Dark Energy. I originally got this ink as an ink sample and I went through and tested it in several different nib sizes and it just struck a chord with me. I think we're getting into the fall season and this is kind of a fall type color. Uh, we're just coming off a of summer where green was my favorite color. And I really enjoyed this ink because on my 20 pound copy paper, it just felt really nice in all the pens that I tried it in. And it performed pretty well. It, there wasn't a ton of feathering on the poor quality paper. And then when I tried it on my Tomoe River paper. It's got nice subtle shading. It's not over the top and it's got some sheen again that's not just over the top and in your face. It just adds just a little something to the writing so and performed great in every pen that I tried it in. And after I tried my normal pens that I tested it test my inks in. I went through and tried it, just really inked up, filled up the converter in three of my favorite pens and I've been writing with those and they're just, I've really enjoyed writing with it. So I ordered a bottle. Now Colorverse, I really like those little uh, oval the new bottles that they have, the 30 ounce bottles, but this series, the Astrophysics series, still comes in the great big giant bottles. But I liked this ink so much that I was willing to um, pick up a, a big bottle of it. And it's got all your typical color verse stuff, the little napkin and some stickers and whatnot and a little pamphlet with the Space Word series and the Astrophysics series. This ink, I could have also gotten it in the little tiny five ounce bottle. And I looked at that and I thought about getting the little five ounce, it's almost like a sample bottle, and just refilling it with samples, but I thought, oh, what if you know, something comes up and I'm not able to uh, continue to get samples. Ideally, a 15 ounce bottles would have been great for me. I love my Oroshizuku 15 ounce bottles, but I'm gonna, I told my sister she could have this one. And this is the largest bottle of ink I own, 65 milliliters. So I'm glad that it performs well in all my pens. I'll get a lot of use out of it. And so I've got these three pens inked up. I'm going to go ahead and do a writing test with them. I finished off my sample inking up those three. And oh, after I bought this big bottle of ink, well, I'll tell you about it in a minute after I do this writing sample. Oh, and I didn't bring my glasses up here. Hold on, let me pause this. Okay, I've got my glasses. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. The first pen I inked it up with to do a little journaling with was my um, Pilot Custom 74 with a fine nib because this ink looks so nice in a pen that brings out the shading. This is a pen that will do that. Let me make sure I'm gonna be focused. this looks. 
I'm filming right now what you need. Hold on, let me pause. Okay, I'm back. My daughter is researching colleges and she's very eager to tell me what she found. All right. I just, I love the way that looks. And I'll, I'll do a, a closer up view of it in a minute after that dries and we can see what the shading looks like. And next is my Pilot E95S. It just, it's kind of matchy matchy with this ink. The last ink I used in my E95S was Tasha uh, Olive Green or Tasha Uguisu and it didn't match this pen at all and I loved it but this is a nice match. And you can see maybe that this is also a fine nib but it puts down quite a bit or it appears to put down more ink. I don't know. Look at it. It it definitely lays down a, a darker line. But it's weird. It looks like it's putting down less ink. And I think, let me try something. Okay, I really like that. I've enjoyed writing with that. One thing I wanted to show real quick on the Custom 74, maybe this is why it's coming out a little lighter. The downstrokes put down quite a bit of ink, but the upstrokes do not, and you end up with some nice, it's almost like line variation, but it's ink variation. And Finally, my M800, Moonman M800. And I've been searching for good inks to use in this pen. I switched out the nib. This is not the original nib that came in it. This is a Nemesign uh, 0.6 stub. And this ink goes back and forth between very wet and very dry. And if you don't get the right ink, when it's writing very dry, you know, it feels very dry and it's unpleasant. But this ink, right now, it's writing pretty dry, but it still just feels nice and smooth. Yeah, look how dry that is. But I've enjoyed journaling with this also and I don't think we're going to see any sheen on this Marmon Namasani. It behaves very similarly to Rhodia but I am seeing oh I just really like it seeing the loop-de-loops in the custom 74 and, but on the E95S, when I write with it on Tomoe River paper, it's putting down enough ink that you really start to see the sheen. And so, yesterday, mm, hold on, not yesterday, Saturday, after I uh, got my ink in the mail and I've been writing with these pens, I thought... I don't have any pilot medium nibs. I've got a Sailor fine and medium gold nib, and I've got a platinum fine and medium gold nib. I've got two pilot fine nibs, and they write very differently because they're different style nibs. I thought, I'm really wanting to get a pilot medium nib, and I've been thinking that for a little while. And I, a pen that I've wanted for a while became available so I ordered it and it should be arriving sometime this week. I told my husband that that could be his Christmas present to me so I'm probably not going to write with it but I, I'd like to unbox it when it comes in. I have to check it out make sure I got what I ordered and then I told him he could 
hide it and I'll open it at Christmas. But let me see. Let me get the Tomoe River back out. I. I'm debating whether I should get a Hobonichi. I've I've never owned a Hobonichi cousin, the uh, A5 size. It's double this size. This is A6, and this is an old um, planner. I just use it for as a notebook, but I just love the paper. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide whether I want to get one. I don't. I'm retired. I'm not going to be working this year, so I don't know. I could use it as a Bible study notebook slash few things that I have to plan slash um, fountain pen journal. I don't know. Still thinking about that. Don't have long to think about it though. The Hobonichi cheese are out and on sale and people are buying them up. But if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.